Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. I am not a fitness expert. I am not a nutritionist. I am not a certified trainer. Heck, I didn't even sleep at a Holiday Inn Express last night. But I am an independent team beach body coach. And I've successfully completed P90X and P90X Plus several times. And I want to talk about it. Well, as you can see, I am doing uh, an online video chat with my buddy Keith Harris out in Virginia. Hey, Keith. Hey, Barry. I'm hoping that this is recording, but if it's not, oh well. Um, but so I, be- I. I believe it will be, and uh, we're going to proceed anyway. Um, what I wanted to talk to uh, uh, people about was a, a, a blog post that Keith had this past week. He's at crushplay.blogspot.com and had a great post about um, ordering out at restaurants and, and uh, getting over those fears of, oh my gosh, is, you know, am I going to be able to get some healthy food? Especially when we're on these, uh, these great fitness programs and you don't want to really do, derail um, your results um, as you're going through it. And I really loved the post because it hit home as every time I go out to eat to a restaurant, which isn't all that often, but when I go out with family or friends, they tend to kind of look at Perry when, you know, kind of weird as if it's kind of a, oh, what are we going to get to hear from him this time? Because I go through the menu and I, and I with kind of with a fine tooth comb, decide what I'm going to order, and then I never quite, I always end up tweaking it and customizing it. And that was very evident this past holiday when um, my family came down and the kids wanted to go to a restaurant called Cheeseburger in Paradise. And I figured that was going to be a major derailment of my eating plan over the holidays. And I was pleasantly surprised. I was able to go in, customize my order, and get everything I wanted. And it was really one healthy meal. So um, I was pretty, pretty psyched about walking away from an experience that I thought was going to be kind of, I don't want to say traumatic, but, you know, um, that would be an overstatement, but to, uh, you know, kind of a stressful time where you're going in, and going in and saying, well, we'll go into this restaurant, but what am I going to eat? You know, hopefully they'll have a salad or something. And no, I got myself a really good full meal, was very satisfied, and um, ended up tipping quite well because of, because of it and because of the, you know everything that went with it. But um, Keith, go ahead and share what you what experience you've had with your uh, w- well, why you put the blog out and uh, what you had to say. Well, Perry, um, uh, thanks for having me on. By the way. Uh, like what you were saying, I think a lot of people who are on uh, very particular diets are uh, they're worried about going out to eat at restaurants, and they're afraid that the, nothing on the menu is going to work for them. Uh, it's going to be you know smothered in butter and gravy and sauce and all kinds of stuff, and they're not going to be able to order anything, and they're going to have to have the uh, the iceberg lettuce salad with the cherry tomato on top, and that's what they're going to have for dinner. Nobody wants to do that. But I found out that. Um, Really, no matter where you well, almost almost everywhere that you go, uh, with a few exceptions, uh, people will generally accommodate your dietary requirements. Um, you know, everything from Applebee's all the way down. I mean, most restaurants have some sort of a choice on the menu, or maybe not on the menu, but at least you can ask them about it. Um, uh, steamed vegetables, for example, uh, putting the sauce on the side, just little things like that that will really make um, your experience uh, a lot better and you'll be able to eat out and uh, not have to suffer through the anxieties of waiting through the menu, uh, getting all nervous because you're going to be eating healthy food when you've been working so hard for the results you're getting. Um, One of my friends, uh, my friend Laura, who is the chef at a little restaurant here in Waynesboro, Virginia called Stone Soup Books and Cafe. Um, she's a chef there and I actually talked to her about this because before I wrote the blog I wanted her opinion um, as a person on the other side of the uh, kitchen door Mm -hmm. when these orders come in and uh, a lot of people who come to this restaurant have special needs 
um, when it comes to when it comes to diet, we have a lot of vegans that come in, you know, and this type of thing. And and what she told me was that she actually enjoys this. Now she's a professional chef. Um, she loves to create new things um, and, and and make everybody happy. So when something special comes in, she actually uses that as an opportunity to create something new, and she's uh, and she's really excited about it. In fact, I went there last night. And she made me a wonderful salad, not the iceberg lettuce and cherry tomato salad, but a wonderful salad full with all kinds of vegetables and all kinds of things. And she uh, made me up some Israeli couscous, which was just fantastic with raisins and um, all kinds of spices. It was very nice and completely healthy. I had a wonderful meal last night. Uh, no fat, no processed anything. It was just wonderful. So, you know, this, this is the kind of thing that you can do. When you go out, going around town, no matter where you go, you can find something that will work for you. So, hey, don't be afraid to go out to eat. Go out and enjoy yourself. Eat. Order something great. You can do it. That, that is really cool to know that chefs will, you know, are out there having that approach to um, what they're going to create. Uh, every, every time I feel like it's going to be an, a major inconvenience to order <laughs> something different than what they have on the menu. Sure, I can say, oh, can I swap out the mashed potatoes and gravy and instead give me steamed vegetables? You know, I don't feel too bad about that. But when I say, well, can I get the, uh, you know, the uh, glazed salmon, but without the glaze, and can I get it just grilled, and, and can I get a, a, a double side of these steamed vegetables, and do you have any fresh salsa that I can have on the side to put on here? And with my, you know... Um, with my salad, can you not put croutons on it? Can you avoid the cheese? You know, those type of things. And mm -hmm. my experience over time has been where um, the the wait staff, they don't, don't even flinch. They're like, uh-huh, yes, can we do that? And at times they've made a mistake, and I've been able to say, well, can and I'll either set it aside or I'll say, can this be removed or whatever? And they're like, oh, man, I totally overlooked that. And, and they'll, they'll accommodate. And so yeah. and, and, and making sure that you're tipping, you know, uh, accordingly when you get that good service. Yeah, that's you're absolutely right about that. I mean, and here's the I mean, the truth of the matter, Perry, is that uh, the restaurants that you're going to, these people are in business and they want you to come back. So they're going to do especially these days when everybody's tightening their belt and people are maybe not going out to dinner as much as they used to because you know the economic situations is what it is. Uh, people want you to come back. They want your repeat business to be as nice to you as they possibly can. They're going to accommodate you. They're going to give you what you want. But the trick is, is you have to ask for it. If you don't ask for it, you're not going to get it and you're going to wind up with a, you know, a greasy cheeseburger and fries with a bunch of junk dripping off of it that you shouldn't be eating. Um, so just ask. 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 All, you, all have you have to do is ask. And um, yeah. when, when you go and look at uh, a lot of the new uh, workout programs that Beachbody's putting out there, they do have a lot of t tips for eating at restaurants, how to <laughs> order, even fast food places. Um, you know, we, we know that life happens and you're out and, and, and being realistic and you'll be with friends and, and um, some of the choices we make are, are uh, um, on the fly. And just having those mm -hmm. things in the back of your mind and the advice that, that uh, Keith has come up with for you today um, just excellent out there, and we'll help you out. So thank you so much, Keith, for coming on and, and sharing all that. You're welcome, Perry. Thanks. You bet. And everybody else out there, hey, remember, it's never too late. We'll see you it's next week. It's never too late. It's never too late. We'll see you next week, buds. Bye.